guys what's up we are on the go again um right now we are at home goods to return some some well to exchange some items my mom bought some lampshades and they're too big so we're taking it back and we're taking back a, um, a linen basket for a slightly smaller size so that's what you're seeing in the cart here I'm really not feeling all that great I don't know what's wrong so I'm not trying to stay outside up too much too long too much longer on the um on the ground the fire next to the on either side of the fireplace we're not lighting the fireplace so just so as decoration the trees or this what do they call it i don't even know oh these things are huge some of them guys this is all that we got today today's finds we're supposed to be going to hobby lobby next but like i said i don't feel that well so we'll see oh, how it goes this is what we have so far so we're at store number two hobby lobby supposed to be a shopping day with my mom but she went into she went into a store by herself because I am really not feeling all that great I have um, as I've mentioned earlier in previous vlogs I do have sickle cell anemia um, so maybe I don't know if my levels are down or something I don't know but I feel really sluggish I'm getting tired really fast 
I just don't feel myself. So what I think I'm gonna do is go to the nearest ER later on today, or because I have to pick my kids up. Oh boy. Yeah, I just don't feel all that great. Oh boy, it really sucks. I don't get sick often. I do get the pain crisis, but not severe. Like, I wouldn't even call that a crisis. I would more, more so say pain episodes where some parts, I don't know, it's not severe to, to be admitted or anything. The last severe, severe crisis was when I was pregnant, like about two or three days before giving birth. That was very bad. That was the first time ever having a crisis, and it was terrible. I don't want to ever feel that again. But, yeah, so right now I'm just feeling... A little bit out of it. So I might just go head over to the nearest ER later on and see what what's up. It's better to be safe than sorry, right? So I'm just waiting on my mom and then I think we're probably gonna head home. <music> So this is what the trunk is looking like. Um, yeah, the kids just went off. what's up today i am back home well i came home yesterday as you guys saw i was out with my mom doing some shopping and i started to not feel that great even though from before i wasn't feeling well but it got to a point where you know i, I knew something was not right so and even the day before i went to the urgent care because I knew I, my body was not, was feeling run down. It wasn't feeling like my normal, you know, self. So the following day, like the day before, like I said, I went to the urgent care. Um, they took, they tested my blood and everything, but I did not get the, the um, results yet. So I went out with my mom and that's when I started to not feel that great. And then they called me and they said that I needed to go to the nearest ER right away because my results came back critically low. 
so yeah so that's what happened i went i ended up taking my mom home and then i went into the er they retested my blood and they pretty much said the same thing so i was admitted for one night to receive um if you have sickle cell anemia you know you receive transfusions but i don't get them often often because um i don't know it's just i i don't know if i want to i'm one of the lucky ones where i don't get pain crises often i don't have to get transfusions often my last one was about four years ago and before that i can't even remember so it's not like i'm not like always in a hospital getting transfused or whatever but i stayed over for the one night they they transfused me um they kept me up for observation they retested me the next day and they said my levels and everything was going up and y'all i really felt i literally started to feel better really when i woke up after receiving the transfusion i started to feel so much better all that weird tiredness and fatigue and like shortness of breath like i wasn't panting but like i would walk a few steps and feel tired so all of that started to subside and i came back home oh, hold on we have a visitor <laughs> say hi hi <laughs> yeah so as i was saying i came home i started to feel better i'm um currently back here i am off from work they gave me a few days off i'm returning to work on november 1st <coughs> today is oh. <coughs> I believe November, not November, yeah, today's October 30th, tomorrow's October. Halloween, yo. What are you going to be for Halloween? Isabella. They can't hear you. Isabella. Isabella, she is obsessed, as you guys know, she had an Isabella party. Uh, I had to go out and buy a whole new Isabella costume because the other one that she had for her birthday, obviously, I wasn't going to let her use that. She's been playing in it since July, so we got a new Isabella dress, we got the wig, we got, you guys are going to see everything um but yeah guys this is my little update i'm out of the hospital i am doing much better um i was starting to get a little bit of pain in my legs but nothing severe girl nothing severe uh that was all due to me just being all run down my whole system like mm -hmm. if i had stayed home um for a longer time without knowing my status like without testing i believe i probably would have had a full-blown crisis and it probably would have been a whole lot worse so i'm glad that i decided to just get up and go and check myself because i knew something was not right i was just working and working and working and working and you know just not thinking about myself just thinking about yo these bills gotta be paid gotta work gotta work gotta work so sometimes you really gotta just sit back and put your health first girl i'm about to go take the kids now for a little walk around the neighborhood there's a trail that we've been eyeballing since we moved here it looks really nice to walk like a nice it little does. woodsy feel so i think we're gonna go walk that trail yeah you want to yeah. go walk the trail yeah and then go to the park for a little bit and then come back before it gets dark so yeah because we can't when it's dark and you guys while i was in the hospital she bumped her mouth being all crazy riding around on, on her scooter you guys will see i think you guys saw in the, the previous vlog she was she has this trick that she does on the scooter and the trick went all wrong and she bumped her mouth she got a little cut i don't know if you guys could see it a little cut there <coughs> you gotta stop that trick <coughs> anyway <Ooh. coughs> anyway guys we're gonna go outside now okay bye Bye. All right, guys, we're entering the trail. I'm here to walk. You guys go in the front. Here's Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Halloween. You guys are excited for Halloween because of candy. Yes. No. No cars come here, girl. This is. I always wanted to walk this trail ever since we moved here. I don't know. I just love sceneries like this, even though the highways right here, but still. 
Girl, I have another one they home. found Anaya had two. What is that? Nintendo 3D or 3DS or whatever. It's Nintendo. Yeah. These things are over what five, ten years old. And <laughs> I have another Galaxy. Not ten, one. not over ten years old. Like at least seven years old, and they just found them, and they're going crazy over it. Mira, you and mommy kind of have the same Where is Amiya? Amiya, you're too far. Not even identically close. Um, stop. What happened? What's the suspicious stuff are you guys going to doing? Stop recording Why? Because no. Lonely kids walking through the woods. <laughs> what is Ava doing? <laughs> what type of walk is that? The A walk. I poop my pants. You poop your pants? That's the walk? Oh, that's the poop your pants walk. I believe that's the A walk. I, I. There's something in my shoe. There's something in your shoe? You yeah. want to take it out? Take, take your foot out. Flowers. Oh, wait. Let it focus. Ooh, I wonder what these are called. I don't know. If, I'm, I don't know nature, so. Are these the only type of flowers over here? These are the only kind? No! No! So we're just exploring our neighborhood. Like I said, this trail, I've been eyeballing it for a while. I just decided to bring them for a little walk. Are you guys loving the trail? There's flies now. Oh boy. Do you guys love the trail? Yes. Yes, halfway. So halfway, I okay. In my what is that? But it's just a leaf. Ava! It's an eye You're too far. We just found some stairs, but it's leading up to the train tracks, and that obviously is dangerous. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. <laughs> I mean, it goes to some walkers. It's nice to explore and find things. Look at her with the walk again. I hope none of these are poison ivy. I don't know how it looks. So, yeah, I better stop touching stuff. Mommy! Mama! It's just like on your phone. It's the same color, but I don't think it's the same flower. It's the same color. It's the same color. Okay. Here, take it. Girl. Take it. Collect them and I'll take them later. Okay. Where is she? Oh. All right, you guys, we have come to the end of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching, your support. Subscriber count is going up, views are going up. So yeah, I'm excited. Thank you so much again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.